hi everyone oh my gosh that sounds so weird being that it's been so long since i uploaded a video um i'm actually nervous recording this um because it's in my head is debating if i should come back to youtube or if i should just let let it go right um so today i just figured you know what well, what the hell why not just give it a try and see how you feel so it actually kind of feels good um recording right now but let's see how this turns out right um like it's been a very interesting year and a half i believe i think the last time i posted a video was maybe march of 2020 last year um yeah like my life has totally changed um so if you follow me on instagram you already know by now that i have a beautiful daughter um and as of today that i'm recording this video she is eight months old i know crazy right yeah um so today i'm gonna just get into um sharing my pregnancy journey with you guys um and then we'll take it from there Thank you so much everyone that's um, subscribed, regardless of how long I've posted a video. Thank you for, you know, some people that have reached out and asked, hey, are you coming back? What's going on? And some people that are just kind of waiting and hoping that I will come back. Well, thank you so much um, for holding on and thank you so much for supporting um, my channel. So let's get into this video. We all know that we've been going through the um, COVID-19 pandemic, right? <sighs> So, as of the second week of March, <laughs> um, I found out that I was pregnant. Yes, I, I did. Um, you know, first I just want to give glory to God for, um, you know, how everything has played out. Um, in the year that a lot of things went wrong, a lot of things went right in my life. I just want to give glory to God for that. Um, so I did find out I was pregnant the first, um, the second week of March or so. And, um, at first, because it was the COVID time, it was very intense. Um, I thought I'd actually caught COVID. <laughs> so this is how it started. So I was at my brother's house with my sister-in-law that had just had a baby in February, my nephew, so handsome. Um, and I spent the weekend with her. So when I got home, I got really feverish, right? I was just like, oh my gosh. I, And then um, I was really cold. Then um, I started to not want to eat. I, I thought I was just like, oh my God, like all the symptoms that I was feeling, the um, feverish, the um, no um, taste or appetite. Um, and then what else was wrong? Um, and then smell my smell was a little um off so my husband my husband is like are you sure you're not positive i'm like no like why <laughs> and mind you now um i had stopped going to work because as soon as i found out that the um the the um symptoms you, like somebody could have the sim somebody could have covid but they wouldn't have symptoms so but not, that's what we now know as the asymptomatic people. Um, so that got me really scared. And I was like, you know what, I'm not going back into the office. And then the next day they sent an email out saying, you know, just come in and get your stuff and don't come back into the office until further notice. Right. So I guess, you know, everything worked out there. Um, so, yeah. So um, I was like, you know, I've, I've not gone to work. I've not been in contact with anybody other than my sister-in-law who just had a baby and she's definitely does not, like she definitely definitely does not have COVID. So then we're like, oh my gosh, okay. And um, so then I call my doctor and this is something a lot of people don't know. Um, my doctor had told me that um, I have polyp um, and I had scheduled an appointment to get it removed. And it was, I think it was in my uterus. So um, me and my husband, we had just prayed and said, you know, God, just have your way. And within me, I did pray. I said, God, please turn this around to something um, better. I don't want to go under the knife. I'm going to share another story another time regarding another surgery that I have done previously. Um, so then I called my doctor's office 
and the, the nurse says oh we're expecting you to come in today you have an appointment for the polyp removal today i was like no i don't i have a different day she goes no it's today i was like well i i didn't plan for that and she goes oh you already missed the time anyway so i said okay um so so i, I was like you know i wanted to proceed to tell her you know what was going on with my body and i said you know i'm feeling feverish i'm not feeling too well and she goes um okay um have you done a pregnancy test i was like no i mean if i'm feeling feverish and stuff like i don't think i've ever heard of anybody saying they were feverish <laughs> you know before they found out they were pregnant so um I was like, no, I haven't. And she says, okay, maybe you should do one and then let us know if it's positive or negative so we know if we're gonna reschedule your surgery. So I said, all right. So I looked at my husband, I go, um, can you go get a pregnancy test? <laughs> so then um, he's looking at me like, what? I was like, yeah, go get a pregnancy test. So then he goes to get it. And um, before he came back, I started to feel pains in my nips in my nipples um i was like wait what like does that mean i'm pregnant like the thing is i desired to be pregnant but we were not really intentional about it um because my husband is just like hey it will happen when it happens and i just kind of lived life like i never really sat there and figured out oh when i'm gonna take in and when i'm gonna get pregnant when i'm gonna have a baby i really didn't like think about it it was just like you know we're going with the flow god is god and he's gonna do what he has to do right um so then um he went and got the pregnancy test and <laughs> when he got back he, he got us drinks oh matter of fact like <laughs> as soon as i knew like there was about to be a lockdown oh my gosh like i bought a lot of things in the house i'm like we're gonna turn up if we're gonna be on lockdown we're gonna have fun being on lockdown yeah um <laughs> and 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 those included some choice drinks um <laughs> he got the pregnancy test and he got some drinks but for some weird reason he got me lemonade so i'm like why did you get me lemonade but i just moved on so then i went and took the test um and I ran out of the bathroom. I didn't look at it because <laughs> I wasn't sure what I was going to see. Um, because, you know, I feel when you're at a certain age, um, it starts to feel weird when you take a pregnancy test and it's negative. Mostly if, you know, there's an expectation that, you know, you should be having kids, you'll be married for how many years or whatever. So um, I ran out of the bathroom and I told my husband, can you go check? what it says <laughs> so then he goes he goes babe i don't see anything i was like what do you mean you don't see anything do you see one line two lines he goes i don't know i don't see anything i was like oh, all right so i go in the bathroom and look at the test oh my gosh i saw the faintest line like the faintest line actually lines right because it's two lines and i just like was in awe i was just like blown because this was not you know when you pray for something but you don't expect it um and we were just so happy like in the times where you know there's a lockdown there's a pandemic that's about to start nobody knew what was gonna happen it was just so amazing like finding out that we're expecting um we're just so happy and um you know we <laughs> so then my husband goes i'm happy like i'm you know you know we do have this expectation of how we want our spouse to react or you know and he was happy and i'm like why are you not jumping for joy right now he's like because I never thought you were barren. Like, I knew you were gonna have kids. I was just like, all right, that's not the point. But my husband is so quirky like that. Um, but we were just so joyed and happy and um, just excited, right? Um, just to think about how I was just about to go through a surgery to take out polyp. And now, you know, I'm actually expecting. Like, God is so good. Like, every time I think about it, I get a little emotional and I get like, I feel so blessed, right? Because 
just walking through that journey, right? Um, so then after we found out, um, you know, we started the whole um, process of, um, you know, the checkup to confirm the pregnancy. And the funny thing was, my husband was like, um, maybe, so I was gonna take another test, right? Just to confirm it on my own. My husband goes, no, why don't you just wait till in the morning and you take another test and you, you know. And um, I was like, all right. He's like, first P. <laughs> He's like, the first P, you know if it's, you know, um, um, positive again. You know I did not sleep that night. At 4.30, I was already up. I went straight to the bathroom, did another test. I was just like, oh my God, this is so real. And then the line got darker. I was like, oh my goodness, like so excited. Um, and we're just like wondering like, okay, what are we gonna have? Um, you know, um, what, what's the name? And, and, you know, it was just interesting. And then pandemic was a blessing to me because the first um, couple of weeks of my pregnancy, I was extremely sleepy. When you meet, yo, sleepy. Like, I would literally sleep through the day. And even like, you would think because I slept through the day, I would not sleep at night. Oh no, I slept at night again. So my pregnancy, to God be the glory, was nothing crazy. Um... The only thing I know I really had was I had like this weird itch on my thighs. It got me a little scared because I thought, you know, blood clots, I don't know. Um, and then I had like, um, oh, I'll insert the name if I remember. It's like my wrist would not, like, it felt dislocated. Um, and then what else? It wasn't bad. I didn't get nauseous. Um, I wasn't vomiting. I didn't have morning sickness. I don't know what morning sickness is. Um, yeah, the pregnancy just grew and grew. And like, yo, to be honest, now, like the more I think about it, the more I feel so blessed because I've heard about people's um, pregnancy. And even when I was telling a friend of mine about my journey, she goes, can, can you just stop talking? Like, she's like, I'm hating on you right now. She's like, Sandra, my pregnancies have not been the best it's always been very um crazy and you know i'm so blessed um and um so we decided not to find out the gender we wanted to wait till um delivery date right so that was something that kept, kept everybody excited some people would say oh your belly looks like you're having a girl some would say your, your belly looks like you're having a boy um to be honest i really had no preference i just wanted a healthy child and that's not even because cliche that's what you should say but no honestly i i'm not the type of woman that you know imagines what it would be like raising a boy what it would be like raising a girl like the way i live my life i depend so much on god um because i really don't have plans like i really don't plan you know my you know um what i'll be like when i become a wife what i'll be like when i become a mom what i'll be like when i become i i really don't plan like that so um I was just like, you know what, I'll go with the flow. So not knowing the gender was very interesting because when I started to pick out things for the baby, I would go with like grays, I'll go with yellow, I'll go, I couldn't go really get blue or pink because society has already named that as, you know, gender specific. Um, so I got like a mix of things. Um, but yeah, um, it was just an amazing journey. Um, and then I had my baby november 2020 and on that day my husband was just jumping because i later realized that he really wanted a girl and then when the baby came out the doctor goes it's a girl and he was just jumping overjoyed um it, it is just a blessing and my daughter <laughs> she's so adorable and she's growing so gracefully um and you know Maybe I'll do a follow-up video about after delivery or, um, you know, what happened through delivery. But yeah, I just wanted to make this my first video. I know I um, asked on Instagram um, what my first video should be when I come back to Instagram. And a lot of people did say it should be my pregnancy journey. Um, but, you know, and how I found out I was pregnant and stuff. So I just figured I'll do this video as a welcome back to YouTube. Um, if you're new on this channel, if this is your first time seeing me, um, my name is Sandra and I um, do a lot of talks on relationships, a lot of talks on um, lifestyle and faith and um, 
Mostly relationship advice. I'm not a relationship coach, even though my friends are telling me I should look into that. But I just um, take interest in sharing my journey with, with um, people and, you know, hoping to touch one person um, at the end of the day. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope it blessed you. And if you are one person out there that is looking forward to have your own bundle of joy, trust me, the time is coming. To be honest, I wouldn't know what to say to you, um, but I just pray that um, God touches you and touches your husband, um, that you guys will carry your own baby. Um, it's really a blessing. I can't trade it for anything. Um, watching my daughter grow daily is, it's, yeah, it's interesting, but I'll get into another video another day about, you know, getting prepared and um, delivery and now going through motherhood. Okay? I hope you have a wonderful day and thank you for watching. Take care, guys. Bye.